Hey folks, it's Pat here. I've got a chapter 12 question that I want to go over here real quick, and that's ANOVA, Degrees of Freedom in the F Statistic. This is the first time we're going to perform it in ANOVA, um, and so these are pretty easy, even though the math in here looks a little intimidating. It's not that difficult once you understand kind of what you're doing. So uh, an ANOVA is just a multi-way t-test, so like think about it in a t-test we would compare the differences between two different groups and so we'd have like di difference between TV and magazines. Um, we'd run a t-test on the sample means and come up with a conclusion. With an ANOVA we can do multiple categories at once using the F statistic and so that's what we're going to do here. Um, and so in order to do this um, and these problems will ask you to calculate usually um, either the numerator and degree denominator degrees of freedom and then uh, you know perform a conclusion so let me show you how to do all these real quick so numerator degrees of freedom in an ANOVA you need this in order to um, calculate the p-value the F statistic um, is just the number of groups alright so we have TVs magazines flyers and web pages so that would be four but we have to subtract one and so it's the number of groups minus one is our numerator degrees of freedom we also call that K and so since we have one two three four groups in here subtract one we get three alright so denominator <coughs> excuse me denominator degrees of freedom is the number of individual observations in each sample added together okay and so we take all those we've got four groups of 34 so there'd be 34 times 4 or 34 plus 34 plus 34 you get it okay and so that gives us the total sample size but in order to get the denominator degrees of freedom or denominator degrees of freedom we actually have to subtract out K which is how many categories there are one two three four so subtract all those out giving us 132 okay and so then we can use this all right and in this in, and so what we do next is in we'll do this in future videos where you actually have to calculate the F statistic and things like that um, but in this one they give us the F statistic and so all we have to do is take a look at the p-value the probability of finding an F statistic of 1.77 which I'm taking from right here with three numerator degrees of freedom which I'm taking from right here and 132 denominator degrees of freedom right there and bam we get a value this is our p-value right here and so if we take a look at our p-value and then we take a look at our level of significance down here if this is greater than this then we cannot conclude that the, any of these are fundamentally different okay if this was less than any of them whatever it gives us for our level of significance then we could conclude that these are fundamentally different and that's all we're doing with an ANOVA alright so it's pretty straightforward but at the same point in time I understand that there's a lot of new terms on here that might be a little confusing for you now this is the first type of problem you see in here let's see if we get this second one here real quick um, the second one, yep, this is the second one, and basically what it's going to ask you on this one is just give me the p-value and give me the conclusion, all right? So you still have to calculate the numerator and denominator degrees of freedom in this guy in order to actually get this one correct because you still have to calculate the p-value. And so take a look at this one. We have United States, Canada, and Britain. Notice I'm not reading the problem. You don't really need to read problems on these. <laughs> all right, once you know what you're doing. All right, so, but at the same point in time, understand we got three of those, so my numerator degrees of freedom on this one is going to be two but I still need to calculate my denominator degrees of freedom which is going to be all three of these added together so 218 plus 225 plus 236 okay 2 is 679 minus how many different categories there are there's three different categories so 676 we have to remember that 676 so let's take a look at our probability of finding an F statistic since it gives us the F statistic right here go ahead and punch this in Okay, F statistic or F statistic is 6.42 with three numerator or two numerator de degrees of freedom and 676. I hope I remember that correctly. <laughs> Denominator degrees of freedom. Hit enter on that one, and we get a, a p value that's 0 .00, 0 0.001 or 0 0.002. So let's go ahead and punch that in here. Okay, notice this one it's actually asking you for the p-value, all right, and then using a 0.1 level of significance. Since this is way lower than that, all right, so then yes, we can conclude that there are statistically significant differences between the United States, Canada, and Britain, and whatever this variable was. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check that. 
And there we go. Okay, it's yelling at me again. Not customary to start a number with a decimal point. Fine, Alex, be picky. <laughs> but at the same point in time, this is your introduction to ANOVA in Chapter 12. And I hope this makes a little bit of sense to you. If not, understand. Uh, please ask me any questions. Otherwise, uh, feel free to plug away at these. If you get a couple of them wrong, um, just understand there's only two different types of problems in here that you're going to see. Eventually, those should make a little bit of sense to you. And if you knock these out, then the next couple topics will be a lot easier for you. So um, hope that helps. We'll see you in the next video.